My name is Brian Cook. I'm a Senior Product Manager here at Conductic Swampfler. In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up your Airmark radio in a tandem-tandem configuration. In a tandem-tandem configuration, either transmitter can control either or both of the receivers. However, only one transmitter can control a receiver at one time. When you're done controlling the receiver, you must turn the transmitter off to release the receiver. You can set up two to four transmitters in a tandem-tandem configuration. When you order the Airmark radio from Conductic Swampler, you will receive two complete radio kits. Each radio kit has one receiver and two transmitters. Now we'll walk you through how to configure your Airmark radio in a tandem-tandem configuration. We will begin by pairing transmitter A with receiver A in a primary pairing. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then, turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then, press and hold F1 and AUX1 while turning the on-off switch to the start position and then release. All available receivers will flash the lamp slowly. Press AUX2 until the correct receiver is selected and then turn the on-off switch to the start position to select. The receiver will then flash two to six times. Press the F1 button the corresponding number of times and then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and radio LED will flash. This transmitter is now paired. You may turn off the transmitter. Next, we will pair transmitter B with receiver B in a primary pairing. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then, turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then, press and hold F1 and AUX1 while turning the on-off switch to the start position and release. All available receivers will flash a white lamp slowly. Press AUX2 until the correct receiver begins to flash rapidly. Then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. The receiver will flash two to six times. Press the F1 button the corresponding number of times and then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and radio LED will flash. Transmitter B is now paired. You may turn it off. Now we will pair transmitter A with receiver B in a secondary pairing. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then press and hold F2 and AUX1 and turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. All available receivers will flash the white lamp slowly. Press AUX2 until the correct receiver begins to flash rapidly. Then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. The receiver will flash two to six times. Press the F1 button the corresponding number of times and then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and radio LED will flash. Transmitter A is now programmed and you may turn it off. Now we will pair transmitter B with receiver A in a secondary configuration. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then press and hold F2 and AUX1 and turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. All available receivers will flash the white lamp slowly. Press AUX2 until the correct receiver begins to flash rapidly. Then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. The receiver will flash two to six times. Press the F1 button the corresponding number of times and then turn the on off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and the radio LED will flash. Transmitter B is now paired. You may turn it off. By default, the Airmark radio automatically sets the primary paired receivers to the A LED and the secondary receiver to the B LED. In this configuration, you would have different naming for crane A and B depending on the transmitter. So the next step we will do is we will do an A-B aligning. This ensures that the A and B LED indicate the correct crane on both transmitters. In this case, we will align the A-B naming on transmitter B to match transmitter A. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then, turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then press and hold F5 and AUX1 and turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. 
If LED A is on and LED B is off, this indicates that the AB naming is in the standard configuration. Press AUX1 and LED B will light up and LED A will turn off. This indicates that the AB naming has been switched. Then turn the on off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and radio LED will flash. You may now turn off transmitter B. By default, the Airmark radio is automatically set to auto transmit power to maximize battery life. When the Airmark radio is set in a tandem configuration, we recommend that you set the transmit power to a fixed level. In this video, we will show you how to change that to the fixed power level and we will set it at level 3. We will start with transmitter A. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then press and hold F4 and F1 and turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. To disable automatic transmit power, press the AUX2 button. The B LED will flash one to four times, indicating the fixed transmit power. In this case, we will press AUX1 until the B LED flashes three times. Then turn the on off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and radio LED will flash. You may now turn off the transmitter. Now we will set the transmit power on transmitter B. First ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Then turn the on off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Then press and hold F4 and F1 and turn the on off switch to the start position and release. The D LED is lit indicating it is in auto transmit power. Press AUX2 to turn off auto transmit power. We want to set the transmit power to level 3 so press AUX1 until the B LED flashes 3 times. Then turn the on off switch to the start position and release. The receiver lamp will turn on and then off and the battery and radio LED will flash. You may now turn off transmitter B. Now we will show you how to operate the Airmark radio in a tandem configuration. Ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. Turn the on off switch to the on position. Press AUX1 until A and B lights are both on. Then turn the on-off switch to the start position and release. During first startup in tandem, the two receivers will synchronize. Turn the transmitter off. First, ensure the e-stop switch is pulled out. And then turn the on-off switch to the on position and verify the A through D LEDs flash. Before starting, press AUX1 until the correct LEDs for crane A and B are selected. Then turn the on off switch to the start position and release. When both cranes are being operated, you will notice that the lamp is steady on. During operation, you can switch between crane A, crane B, and crane A and B by pressing AUX1. Now you can see that crane A has a steady light on and crane B is flashing slowly. This indicates that crane B is in a tandem configuration but is not currently being operated. Crane A is steady on meaning it is being operated. Once we go back to a tandem configuration you will see that crane A and B both have a steady on lamp for their receiver. To pass control from one transmitter to the next, you must turn off the transmitter before the next transmitter can take control. By default, the Airmark radio automatically defaults between alternating between crane A, crane B, and then crane A and B. For alternate configurations, please check out our video on additional tandem programming options. For additional how-to videos, please check out our Airmark radio playlist.